Now, I don't want to get too carried away with this too. I'm, I know this looks odd and uh, a lot of your drawings are having the same issue, uh, but I don't want to get too carried away because we might want to take a lot of this off in here. We still want the guidelines and whatever, and we may go right back in and put some graphite in the color, but for the, you that are going to put a color in the eye, you want to make sure that you don't go too far because the color over the graphite gets muddy. <clears throat> Narrow this down. And you'll notice the randomness of these eyelashes. Don't get into the uh, don't get into the trap of just going tick 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 tick. Everything is almost the same exact space. It's easy even when I'm talking about it, I realize that I I can easily get into that trap, but you'll see how things gather with with real natural eyelashes. And I know that, you know, when you're using mascara and things like that, there there's an attempt to separate all your eyelashes and make them look fuller and and thicker and all that, and the, it evens out the spaces. But you'll still see that they have a tendency to uh, look at how they tendency to have a tendency to gather. Uh, look at this your little chunk down here. Uh, obviously, if I just went tick, 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 I'd lose that natural quality of that uh, these eyelashes. I have more value in here than I think, too, because when I go to my HB, I end up by having... Uh, uh, it's not near as dark as I might think, although it's nice to kind of map this out before I get really carried away and just go with a dark a dark one and also you realize how light some of these eyelashes are in here so then they continue to get darker 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 as they go to where there's less light there's a little more of them there's a little there it's a little fuller uh, but still you want to pay attention to this I don't want this value over here or it's going to change the whole thing and it's not going to enhance my curve around the eye but we see that we have this reflection in about the same place all the way up here. And, you know, this is over a little bit because this is recessed. But still, uh, you know, we have these highlight parts of the face in about the same area. Here is this one. It's just a little bit, a little bit over again. Here I keep forgetting I'm zoomed in here. But uh, that, the curve of the face is going to show the light landing on many of these spots within close proximity to the rest of it. And you'll see how it gets darker over here on this side. Look at how it is in this. So I have an opportunity now to start building up some of these things that are, are uh, I don't want to get it too dark again, but I have some value on here. So I'm just coming in here and seeing what I can do with my HB. I keep hopping around, but I like to, I like again, it just fits right into my balance thing. And I'm trying to give you as much opportunity to see different aspects of this drawing so that when I finished uh, my portion of it tonight, you'll be able to know the direction of several things for next week. <clears throat> 